night, so we're just starting our day. We parked uh, right downtown and we hit the main street and the first thing we smelt was weed. <laughs> and now the girls are having a whole different type of homeschooling experience here in Amsterdam. I'm having to explain to them what it is, how it works and all that stuff. So, But we are right now in front of this cheese place. We're not sure if it's like the famous cheese place because I heard about one, but we're gonna go downstairs and discover it. It's a place full of cheese. <gasps> See, it's not just cheese in Switzerland. There's cheese in Amsterdam too. Look at this. Oh, this looks so good. Did you try some, Chloe? You yeah. sampled some? What was your favorite one? Three old one is good. Sampled cheese with um, well, paprika, ham, uh, hemp seed, goat cheese, what other kind? Mm. Pesto. Yeah. There was one with lavender pesto, all different flavors. So and they're open till 10. So we're gonna come back and buy cheese before you go home. So this building right behind me is where they did the uh, first stock exchange. So the stock exchange originated here in Amsterdam. And now they use the building for theater shows and all different kinds of events, as well as there's still a stock exchange that happens there. So behind me is the central train station. office is right in front of the train station. So if you go from the train station, go it's right here. Literally right here. The kids got lured in by candies. They can't walk past the store with all the candies. It's like an American. It's all American. Oh look at all the black licorice. That's yummy, actually. Mm. Everyone chooses their own candy, and then we all choose. Okay, so girls, what did you get? French fries. Look at it, it's ginormous. Apparently, they're voted number one. So, you guys will be the taste testers. Short distance from the train station is all the shops. So you've got like your H&M, Zara, Primark, all those stores in the main drag here. walking tours start from so here it is You can get around by bike, by bus, by horse, by trolley, by boat, or by foot. So many options. And did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? I didn't know that. We're about to go discover them right now. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? So we're doing that at a different level because we're obviously not going to go out and go all crazy like some people might do here. But we just got a cannabis energy drink with TH, not without THC. So we're going to try this. The girls won't because it is an energy drink, but Tyler and I will. Girls, what do you think so far of Amsterdam? I don't know. Do you like it? I think it's really nice. Yeah? Because I got candy. Oh, Chloe likes the candy store. <laughs> okay, Chloe, is that something that you're normally allowed to do? Of course not. Never or sometimes or? Never. Never? <laughs> sometimes. So she'll always remember Amsterdam because she got candy. And Angelique, what's your thoughts on Amsterdam so far? It's pretty. Yeah, you like it? 
Are you excited to see the Anne Frank House? I go into the Anne Frank House because you have to reserve tickets a month to three months in advance. So we're still gonna go and see if maybe by chance they have last minute tickets for us. This is the Anne Frank Museum and it shows on the sign. It's tickets online only and uh, we did look at it earlier and they are sold out well in advance so we're still going to go in and see if maybe, just maybe there's a way to go in. The girls really want to go because they read all, um, they read her diary and um, what Angelique you're saying there's a lot of cool things right inside. Yeah like her secret diary and stuff. Yeah, pictures and it's just nice to see something like that. Here's a good map of uh, the city. So here's the train station, and this is the main street that we went down with all the shops and such. This is the Dam Square. This is the church we just saw, and this here is where Anne Frank's house. And here's what's interesting is that basically this was the um, Jewish area here. So they were hiding out in this house over here, which was you know, not at all in the same location, so. But what we're gonna do next is we're gonna zip around on these nice little streets here and just do a little bit of a tour. We might stop up here at the park for a little drink and then we'll make our way back down. So the day of, um, they told us that you can keep checking in case there is tickets that free up, but right as of now, there isn't any available. So we're gonna try that for maybe on Friday when we come back. So here behind me is the house where Anne Frank hid during the World War II. And basically, Anne Frank was a Jewish girl who was hiding up at the very top of her house with her family and other people. So we are now in the Tulip Museum learning all about their tulips. What are you learning about? Um, well, right here is tulips in the wild, so we're learning from where they all come from. So here is crazy because it explains the cost of a beer, for example, how much the wages of an annual carpenter would have been, so 250, and the highest paid price of one tulip bulb at that time was 5,200. So super inflated. They called it tulipomania. We're just zigzagging down all the streets now and looking at all the different shops and things that it has to offer. We just discovered this perfume store. What's cool about it is um, when you lift one up, it changes and it like tells you about it and what's inside. Mm -hmm. it's smell really good. And their approach is different. So you, you smell and it's the one that makes you feel good. But yeah, it's so cool because it tells you exactly the different ingredients and flowers that are inside. And then they have all different kinds of uh, scents. So there's the more woodsy, the more lemony, the more oriental ones. So we're having fun smelling different scents. We just checked out the coolest perfume store. We like smells and uh, we love perfumes. And uh, it was so much fun because we smelt all the different ones. And then you get these little cards. Samples. You get little samples, but you get cards where you can write down your favorite ones. And then they explain to you how to put on perfume and uh, you know sometimes when you like are smelling perfumes and you wear them often then all of a sudden you don't smell it anymore? Well it's because your nose starts to um, adjust to the smell. So she was explaining where to spray it on your body, like not on your skin, on your clothing and, and on the back of your hair and such. And um, the gentleman who created this is actually from Grasse in France and that's, uh, he's a nose. They call them specialty, uh, they're called noses, the people who make the fragrances. And uh, we went to Grass five years ago and we visited the museum and everything. And so anyhow, he just basically created all these cool fragrances. So that was a fun girl moment. Yeah. Did you know that Amsterdam has 1,281 bridges? Three times as many as Venice. And did you know that here in Amsterdam they have 165 canals? And did you know Amsterdam has 2,500 houseboats? So right behind me is a concrete boathouse. So it's is like it? literally a house, but on a boat. 
Do you want to know what I just clued into? What? What? You notice that all the bikers that we just walked by, not one single one is wearing a helmet? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to ask a yeah. question. I just noticed that. Like, none of them wear helmets yeah. here. Why? No. I guess they don't crash. It's more of a Girls and I are about to embark on this bike thing. It's yourcitybike.com and we're about to go for this really cool tour. This is Pavel, the owner. He's hooking us up. So this here is the whole downtown. And just to give you an idea, so this is the central station where we started. Um, this here is the Dam Square. They have three main squares. Here, so we walked this way, we came over, uh, we went over towards this church in the Anne Frank house. Then we did the Tulip Museum, which is right around here. Then we did zigzagging through here. Um, we're here right now. We just picked up the bikes here from my city bike and we're going to go over towards this park. Um, this area here has some of the museums. This is a beautiful park to go through. And just to give you an idea for distance wise, so if you were by foot to go from here, let's say down to maybe here towards the flower market is uh, no more than 40 minutes. So it's a very condensed, small city. Let's see what else can I show you. Here they have a famous uh, bridge to go take some nice pictures. I'm trying to see where it is though. Right here, the skinny bridge. So we'll head out over there after. And uh, there you have it. like the first time riding in a city center on bikes? Oh, it's quite, um, <laughs> it's quite intense, but you get, you get used to it. And you, Angelique? It's crazy. <laughs> we kind of went with the flow. Me? All right. And you? Not at all. Look, oh, she's You had it easy peasy with mommy. All right, now we're going to go check out this uh, beautiful oh, flower so market. It is now closed, but basically all along here is stands with beautiful flowers. This is the diamond factory. We didn't go in there either, but apparently you can go in and learn all about that. This here is the National Opera and Ballet House. This is like where people can get on a canal. So this here is the Amstel River. This is where the where Amsterdam gets its name from. What did you find? A cat! A cat in the window. <laughs> yep. You think he snuck into the store? Yes, naughty cat. I think so. This is an American shop. He's gonna have so much fun in there with all that food. He's in the candy store. He's having oh, a good time of his life. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna make quite the best. I mean, the person's gonna come back and there's gonna be nothing in there. So it's really fun. We're kind of like wandering through all the streets here in Amsterdam and it's getting to be evening time so it's really quiet. The, the shops are closed and it's just really cool because there's all these little streets and canals as you know already. Um, but Amsterdam has exceeded my expectations. We try not to have expectations when we travel because then you just get disappointed, right? If, if you have like a high expectation. So my expectation of Amsterdam was just kind of like, I don't know, I just like heard things about it. but. This has like gone above and beyond my expectations. It's been a really fun day. What about you, Julia? It's really nice. Like the bike ride was so much fun, but some parts is like, oh, cause there's like cars and everything, but then it's so fun. Get used to it, all the traffic and stuff. I heard the guy, he said the cat's on bars, right? There's a cat there. There's a cat there. The there's cats everywhere. 
No, it's been really fun. Fun day so far. Now we're gonna go meet up with the grandparents. They did their own thing. They went on a, a boat tour and a tour to go see the windmills and stuff like that. So we're gonna meet up with them right now. So today we had like a fantastic time, except for when it was a little dramatic with all the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so the homes are all skinny and tall because back then when they paid for a tax, they didn't matter the, the height, they matter the width. So the width, we paid the tax for it. So that's why they're so skinny? Yeah. So we're back in Amsterdam and uh, this morning, or this afternoon I guess it is already, we're in the park and this park is just massive, there's bikes everywhere and it's just beautiful because you're right in the city centre, you see all these moms riding their bikes with like the little kids in the front pouches and you see the two, um, how do you call them? The bikes with like two uh, seats, I forget what they're called. Um, Double biker. Yeah, it's just okay. beautiful. Look what it's like. So see, it's just this huge, with little kids everywhere like that. Moms with the kids in the front. I think this is the street with all the name brand stores. So you can pretty much find any brand you're looking for, I think. You must have a, a name for this district, but I don't know what it is. So I just went on the website AnneFrank.org because I wanted to see if there was tickets to go to Anne Frank House. So I checked and then there were 64 tickets for 5.30 tonight, so we're going. Yay! Right here, we are just in front of the I Am Amsterdam sign and this is like the most famous and one of the most well-known museums here in Europe. It's called the Rijke, Rijke, Rijke. Museum. It apparently has some of the finest art. This is the flower market that we're walking towards right now. Right after the flower market, just right here, is actually the cheese museum. So everywhere here in Amsterdam we're seeing cheese. Everywhere, everywhere. And it tastes so good. So I guess here is the museum that probably explains it all. Ooh, and it's tempting. I bet you they have samples. I think I'll go quickly inside and check it out. Another cheese store. So I think Amsterdam has become maybe one of my favorite cities in Europe because it's like perfect for shopping and still like with the um, cheese and chocolate and everything. <laughs> I sampled a few and it was delicious. Now I'll keep going and show you the rest of the um, flower market here. So basically it's just like these stands, like almost like open stores where you can buy all the bulbs and all the different flowers. Here you go. And it just goes on, like basically for a whole like city block almost. We just found the store that we were looking for. What's in this store, girls? Monopoly deal. Monopoly deal. We're finally going to buy the real version of it, which we are so excited to get. Monopoly deal. Mm -hmm. That building over there is the Wax Museum here in Dam Square. Girls, what did you find? This so we are in the Tony's Chocolate Factory, and you can try the different chocolate bars so that you can know which ones you like. Seriously? So how many flavors do they have? They have how many flavors? A whole bunch of flavors. Are you guys having fun? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Show me how it works. So, 
And there's a button that says one piece, please. You pull it down, chocolate comes down, or I'll have a bar, and the bar drops. Seriously, a whole bar? Oh, I get it, if you wanna buy one. Cool. I'm just like, are you liking it? What's your favorite one so far? Which flavor? There's definitely a lot of varieties here to choose from. Quite nice to try them all. So we just wanted to ask the girls what their thoughts were of the Anne Frank Museum. Well, I definitely recommend it. It's really um, interesting to hear the story of her um, and really cool. I really enjoyed it. And you, Ashley? It was, it was really cool. It was really like informative and like you can see how they lived and it's just crazy to see how much space and stuff. What was the thing that was the most shocking to you? That, that they died weeks before the war ended because yeah, they didn't have food and stuff. It's a very sad story. All right, we thought we would rate the city. So on a scale of one to 10 girls, how do you rate Amsterdam? 9.5. I would say 8.5, because some things are quite yes. gross in this town. Me too. 8.5? Yeah. This oh, is nine. like, one, nine, I would say nine this is one me. of my, Nine for me. I would say this is one of my top cities in Europe. So I'm not a big city girl at all. But honestly, guys, this is one city I would actually consider living in because the streets are like, you're in the middle of a city center and it's like quiet. Like you don't hear the cars because everybody rides their bikes. And it's got this really nice atmosphere. And it's another one of these cities that has like, it's a big city, but has at the same time a small atmosphere and you can get around the whole city pretty fast, so. Thanks for watching our tour of Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Please subscribe and give